Winner by guillotine choke, Chris Holdsworth. Chris Holdsworth versus Chris Beal was a pretty good fight. It was very exciting. And um, yeah, I, I uh, thought that Chris was going to win. He looked really strong and uh, his punches are really sharp. It definitely is hard to be down. Um, you know, we've become like a little family now. So it's like your family members, you know, got hurt and, and a loss to, to all of us, not just Chris. It's to all of us. We take it personal, you know. All right, the next fight pick. Team Tate, congratulations. You guys won your second. Two to zero now, pick your next fight. I would like the next fight to be Roxanne Modafferi versus Jessica Rakogsny. I'm really excited to fight next. Uh, the coaches were still discussing, and um, I told them I wanted to fight next, so I'm really psyched that I get, I get to be chosen next. I'm very excited to be the next fight. I knew I was gonna be the next fight. You know, I don't know much about Roxanne. I know she's a great ground girl, so I'm just gonna do my thing and, and box and keep on the outside and do what I do best. I did not anticipate being in the same room with the people I was going to fight. We, we get along and it's an interesting aspect of the house. When Dana White said that this would be one of the most difficult things we'd ever do, uh, he was not kidding. You know, he didn't just refer to the training aspect, which is what I thought, but also the emotional and mental aspect of it too, you know? I'm pretty much making friends with everybody and she feels like my big sister, honestly, you know? Um, we lend each other stuff, you know, we help each other out. Roxanne is in our room. She's a great person and, you know, great fighter, but we have to take care of our business and that's how it is. We made a pact not to talk about training or game plans like that, you know, because we are on opposite teams. But um, I think that we won't have a problem fighting each other. You know, been boxing for a long time, so I know I have to uh, pick her apart with my jab and keep her on the outside because she's a very strong wrestler and jits girl, so that's going to be my fight plan. I try not to over-strategize because you never know, you know, if someone has a good reputation for being a striker, then they could be decent at jujitsu too and then pull off a submission, so I'll see what I can do. I have my super secret ninja techniques and my hisatsuwaza that I'll try to pull off.